Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse Batman from the Three Jokers wave. This is definitely my most anticipated figure from this wave. Uh, very much suits my taste, this this uh, fairly classic gray and black fabric costume Batman with the Tim Burton-esque black and yellow oval insignia. Take a look around this box. Pretty good photo, although there's plenty of room on this box to add like the artist credits and, and stuff like that. Because I imagine they're going to start using, they're going to start getting a, a lot of mileage out of this sculpt. I mean, this is already the second time we've seen it in a very short span of time. Wouldn't be surprised if they, they use this over and over again. And actually, after after spending a little bit of time with this year two, I had to get a second one. Because uh, this first one came and like the arm was broken and stuff and like... Look at this, bad. But uh, after having sp spent some time with one that's not all broken and busted, this is uh, one of my favorite multiverse figures to date. So we already know what we're getting a little bit uh, when it comes to this body, but let's get him out of here and take a look at him. All right, let's bring him in for a closer look here. Mine's got a couple weird paint spots that I can kind of see right away. Also, let's look at this face real close. Look at the lip there once we get focused. See how it's kind of... I, I'm I'm starting to get curious if they're like doing the the printing on of of these face paint apps now because when you look at that real close, you know, let me try to stabilize my. It kind of looks like a printer that's run out of ink. The way it's very there's a lot of like dots on there. It's hard to ca and it's like the colors kind of separating right at the edge of the lip. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but it looks a little weird when you come in real close. Man, this this guy looks really cool. The, um, he's got this leather texture on his boots and his gloves and his cape and his cowl. Uh, I would say the way that it's reading on camera right now, that texture looks a little bit louder than it really is in person. Because even that, even looking at it right there like that on camera, it looks like the grain is kind of just a little deeper and more extreme, but like to my eyes right now, it, it, it blends pretty well and, and doesn't like stand out. Just another example of sometimes the way these photograph isn't exactly how they look in person. You know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, don't, don't his fins kind of, shouldn't they kind of go back on, on the back of his arm like that? Am I being crazy? Both of these guys had the fins kind of poking out of the, what feels like maybe the wrong part of the arm. See, I would always, I would think they would go on that the back side of the forearm, not like the side. I feel like I'm being nitpicky. Am I being nit nitpicky? Because this, uh, this thing is really rad. It's it's just about exactly what I'd want uh, from just a kind of regular Batman. I love this Tim Burton belt. Obviously, like I said, I'm kind of a sucker for that era, 89 era. L the texture on, on the cape and the boots and the gloves capture a lot of what was really cool about this Capullo one, uh, which was a great figure, but this design is just not, I, I don't have any attachment to this, this era, this more modern bat suit design. This is more my flavor. Let's give him some, some spinny action for a moment while we kind of compare some different styles here. Again, this is really fantastic and kind of exactly what I want for sort of just a a regular Batman. And this cape looks very, very excellent. Super cool, but it's a little static. And I do really like when they do things like this. It's just kind of a, mm, you know, what's your, what kind of flavor do you like? Uh, because while this is kind of like unmatched, like stylistically, it's also, you're locked into this one cape blowy pose. Whereas this maybe feels like it's a little bit more all-purpose can or can fit more potential sort of scenes or actions. But it is also, it's a little static too. And given that this guy kind of wants to, he kind of favors a more uh, neutral stance, kind of just this wide-legged, big, tough guy. I, 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 I played with him quite a bit. He doesn't really necessarily... Um, like, I don't know, I think it kind of comes down to personal preference. Like, I threw these guys in a similar pose, and, and like, this cape, I think, works well for this particular pose. 
with with the wind blowing the cape one way but it's also you know it's a little it's it's pretty extreme and it's it's one and you're locked into that i don't know what do you guys think do you guys where do you guys come down on this do you want the cape to be a certain do you want more of an action pose of the cape or this static neutral one cuz i i i well then i i think while the neutral static one maybe in theory, supports more poses. It also just kind of feels a little lifeless compared to something crazy like that. So moving this guy around, it's going to be this pretty much the same as year two Batman. The head is and neck are one piece, uh, similar again to this Capullo Batman, and similarly to year two. I would rather the neck and head be separate, but sometimes it does allow for some pretty bold looks but you know it doesn't it doesn't quite have the same attitude when he when he can't cock his neck from the base of his head when he cocks his head you know from the bottom of the neck it doesn't quite have the same personality the head sculpt looks really good not really my favorite but oh man, it looks really excellent from the profile uh there's probably quite a few different heads batman heads at this point that could go on here and all look good i know a lot of people like to mix and match just moving him around, uh, I, he's way easier to move around than, than the year two was, and he doesn't feel like he's just going to fall apart. Uh, the glue and pe disintegrating and pegs coming out. He's even got maybe a little bit more forward movement. Maybe I'm, I mean, he's got a little bit. He's got a lot back that way. See that big gapage there. I if it when it when there's gapage like that, it doesn't really bother me. Like I'm putting him in a pretty extreme pose, right? So if that causes something like that, it just is what it is. You know, compare that to something like Legends, where that just has a huge cutout all the time, regardless of what pose you put it in, <laughs> or when you bend the waist, it just there's flat plastic. This is far preferable. extremely stretchy material here on this pelvis piece that allows for really huge range again you're starting to see gapage but if this was a marvel legend that gap would be there all the time even if they were standing like that so so for the look i think these rubber pelvises are better whether or not they're going to hold up in time that that's to well, well, I guess we'll have to just see about that. Lots of rotation at the hip. I think the way they do these hip joints is really excellent. Far superior to the dumbbell, the barbell. Great knees. Again, I think I, I think the knees are sculpted to be to work best. Just kind of a wide-legged stance, like old boy back there. Um, but if you want to get him in some jumping poses, he can do it. He's just not exactly going to look like he's the fastest, most agile guy in the world, which is fine. He's Batman. He's not really, it's not quite the, the attitude he's going to be giving us. The, the main difference being the gloves and the boots and the cowl and the head, obviously, from that year two. We've been getting really good movement uh, at these ankles and the ball joints have been really well matched, although they're, they, they're starting to get a little limited uh, this way. I'd like to see maybe a little bit more room somehow carved out up there where we could get maybe like one more notch either way, either direction. He comes with this grapple launcher accessory, which is, um, it's fine. It's whatever. It, it's not really my, my thing. Like it's cool how they've got it in action, but it just seems a little, actually, you know what? I said that and this actually looks really badass. He can get his arms up really well. They kind of move like that, um, like the White Knight Batman, where when you move this, it kind of free gets him out from underneath the cowl a little bit. The way his cape goes over his shoulders, that's actually pretty badass. I still don't think it's like perfectly matched or scaled for him, uh, but, and I kind of wish that this thing was maybe detachable or something, uh, so that then you could like maybe 
put that on his belt or something. Really, I think the way to do it might just be cut that off, cut this off, and that's a very Tim Burton style. Although actually it would be vertical and pull them up. You get it. It's fine. I'd rather have maybe extra hands or I don't know, something. I'd rather have a battering, extra hands. What I really am dying for, this is what I want. I want a hand. I want a hand that can hold three mini batarangs, tiny little put in between each finger, like he's fanning them out and like he's about to throw three little batarangs at once. That's what I'm really, really want, dying for. Here he is with the complete three jokers wave. Th this was a really fun wave, honestly. I, I think it exceeded my expectations. I was kind of, when we first saw them all, I was like, whatever, you know, I was excited for this new uh, classic Batman, but like, I think we already had a good Red Hood. We've already had some great Jokers. This isn't necessarily, I prefer like him, the Burnside Batgirl design. So this is, you know, nice to have, but just not quite exactly what I want out of a Batgirl. The low point I think was when I reviewed this Red Hood and it just broke uh, right at the, at the middle of the torso and I had a huge meltdown. But overall really fun and I think a great like jumping on point. Like if, if somebody has kind of been watching this multiverse line but not necessarily like picking up any of the figures you got a lot of just like good solid boilerplate classic or or close to classic looks for these characters so they really delivered and it's a, a wave of six i think the first time they've done that it's not the build a fig wave it's not the like video game wave of two it's six full figures and despite having some pretty uh significant reuse uh, they still mostly felt really fresh and fun. So this is a great wave. And using some of these new figures, we can kind of start to take stock of like where our bat family's at as far as being able to put a good bat family together. This is a pretty solid lineup and I think they all fit together fairly well. I think for me, it's going to be, I'll be swapping this out for this and this is going to be... This will be the lineup for me. This is how I'm going to put the Bat family together, at least for now, with this Bat, this Red Hood, um, and this collect this mix of new and old figures. But you could keep mixing and matching, which is kind of a fun position to be in. Have, have some options where you can put together your preferred looks. Really, at this point, I think now we just need some more Robins. You could even do this. I mean, do it however you want to, you know? Some of these guys are from different sources anyway, so. Mix and match, put together the ones that you want. Here he is with some other Batmen. You can kind of choose your favorite. You know, I think these guys go together really well. This one still has kind of suggestions of fabric costume, even though it's got maybe some lines that suggest armor plating behind there as well. Uh, although this new guy is pretty tall. He kind, of, he kind of makes Dad look short over here. And he looks fantastic with these guys. Now we kind of just need a uh, like a regular comic Wonder Woman, uh, wh whoever they want to do Rebirth New Fifty Two. Just give us give us one that really fits in with with this JLA team. Man, the, it's hard now to just choose who he's gonna go with. He he works so, really well with all these other different teams. Maybe I need a second one of these. There you go, guys. Three Jokers, Batman. I think it's gonna come down to like whether you connect with some of these big design choices for me I, obviously i very much connect with these and this guy's gonna become my new go-to just regular batman but even if he's not for you this new body is really excellent i'm sure they'll use it many many more times i wouldn't be surprised if they use this one like for the hush that upcoming hush batman that sort of jim lee style uh honestly if they just keep throwing this body at us with new boots gloves belt insignia head cape uh i won't be too mad about it because this thing's just uh it's just solid although i would like to see maybe a little more consistency in the matte versus glossy surfaces some of these are really nice and matte and look really good the ones that are shiny like that they look a little cheaper anyway guys decide for yourselves but this this guy is a huge keeper for me this guy is one of my one of my new faves. I will be playing with him a lot. I, this this is one that I, this is one of those that you just see it, every time you see it, you want to pick it up and, and mess with it and put him in a different pose.
pose. Great figure. All right, guys. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.